with the engineers this day will be um, discussing another problem another uh, passport exam problems in hydraulics this is actually a three reservoir problem so the problem states reservoir b in the figure receives 0.06 cubic meter per seconds of flow determine the following the flow in line a d the flow in line dc and the elevation of our reservoir b now for us to um, answer this one this problem we have to analyze the direction of flow in each reservoir now uh, by essence the uh, reservoir A will uh, discharge a flow to reservoir B and C. It is because the elevation of A is higher than the elevation of our um, um, elevation of our reservoir B and reservoir C. And also, we have to take note that. Uh, Reservoir B actually receives this discharge and where is this discharge coming from? It is only from our um, uh, Reservoir A since our Reservoir A has the higher elevation um, than our Reservoir B. So Reservoir B actually receives discharge and this is QB. Reservoir C, on the other hand, has the lowest elevation among the three reservoirs. So we can actually um, say that um, Reservoir C actually also receives a flow from our Reservoir A. So it will be like this. Now, the next uh, thing we need to do is to analyze um, where is the junction well, where will be the junction of the head loss will be located in our problem. Now, it states that um, reservoir B actually uh, receives a 0 0.06 cubic meter per second of flow. So that means since reservoir B receives a flow, our junction will be above the elevation of our reservoir B. So let's say this is the junction P. So, the head loss at <coughs> reservoir A will be from um, water surface up to the junction. So, this will actually be our head loss at A. Now, the head loss at B is also from junction to our water surface so this will be our head loss b now for our um, head loss at reservoir c it will also be from the junction up to the um, water surface of our reservoir so this is the head loss at c so we have to take note that the junction will be above the elevation of B if it receives discharge. Now, I suppose if it um, gives discharge to um, reservoir C, our junction will be below the elevation of our uh, reservoir B. So, we already have identified the head loss. And since on the given, we have F is equal to 0 0.02 two to five um this actually is a problem involving uh, darcy wishback um, formula so as we recall um head loss for darcy wishback is equal to 0 0.08 to 6 flq squared over d raised to five this is for circular pipes Now, for, uh, for our properties in line AD, we have length of 1,500 meter. The diameter is 450 mm. And the F is 0 0.0225 
for our reserve lobby, we have 500 meters in length to 50 mm in diameter and 0 0.0178 um, friction factor. Now, for our reserve lobby, we have 750 meters length, um, 300 mm diameter and friction factor of 0 0.0168. So, we'll be... Um, we will now determine the head loss uh, in each reservoir. So head loss at A is equal to 0 0.0826, F 0 0.0225, L we have 1500, Q. We do not have a Q for our A, so let's just take that as Q A squared over D. 0 0.45 um, raised to 5 so this will actually be equal to 151.074 QA squared so next we'll be solving the head loss of our uh, reserve B so 0 0.0826 F or F is 0 0.0178 L we have a length of 500 Q Q at B is actually 0 0.06 uh, uh, 0 0.06 cubic meter per second so but we'll just leave it as Q B we'll just substitute it later okay so Multi, uh, over 0 0.25 raised to 5 so this will be equal to 752 783 QB squared so from uh, head loss at reserve was C it is actually equal to 0 0.0826 F we have an fric a friction factor of 0 0.0168 L we have a length of 750 Q we, we do not have Q for um, a C reserve a C squared over D we have a diameter of 0 0.3 meter is to 5 so that will be equal to 428.296 q sub c squared now from our given we have q b is actually equal to 0 0.06 now substituting it to the head loss uh, formula for b so we, you will have uh, 7 point uh, 752.783 uh, 0 0.06 is equal to uh, squared is equal to 2.71 meter so this one here is actually just equal to 2.71 meter so next since we know the direction of flow for our um, each of our reservoir we can conclude that QA is equal to QB plus QC. That means Reserva A actually supplies water to Reserva B and Reserva C. So since we have a, a value for QB, we can say QA is actually equal to 0 0.06 plus QC. Or we can state that QC is just actually equal to 0. Point, um, uh, 
QC is actually equal to QA minus 0 0.06. Now, from our uh, figure, we can say that um, head loss A head loss A plus head loss C which is just actually equal to the difference of elevation between the reserva A and reserva C. So meaning that is um, that will be equal to 100 minus 82 is just equal to the sum of the head loss of A and B, or A and C. So head loss A plus head loss C. So 100 minus 82. That will be equal to um, 18. So this will become 18 is equal to what is the head loss in A? We have 151.075. QA squared plus head loss at C we actually have 428.296 QC squared now since we have this value for QC we can actually substitute this one to this uh, equation so that we will have a an equation that has only one unknown so it will look like 18 is equal to 151.296 Zero seventy four QA squared plus um, four two eight point two ninety six. The value of QC is QA minus zero point zero six squared. So simplifying it or just uh, directly inputting it in the calculator, we have QA is equal to. 0 0.219 cubic meter per second now since we have we actually already uh, answered this uh, uh, number number three now for number four we actually need to determine the flow in line DC and flow in line DC is actually the equal to QC so QC from our uh, solution before we have QC is equal to QA minus 0 0.06 so QA minus 0 0.06 that will be equal to 0 0.219 minus 0 0.06 so QC is equal to 0 0.159 cubic meter per second now next is the elevation of reserva B so from our drawing we actually can identify the head at uh, the elevation of reserva B that is equal to the elevation of A um, we will subtract um, the head loss at A and the head loss at B so elevation at A minus this value so that will be equal to elevation at B is equal to head loss A head loss B so head loss A is equal to no 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 that is equal to the elevation at B uh, minus head loss at A minus 
head loss at P. So, elevation at P is equal to 100 minus head loss at A. That is equal to this one, 151.074. 151.074 QA squared. So, what is the value of our QA? 0 0.219 0 0.219 squared minus head loss at P is actually 2.71. So, this is 2.71. So, the elevation of our servo B is equal to ninety point zero four four meters. So if our elevation at A is one hundred meter, our elevation at B is actually ninety point zero four meter. Now our elevation at C is 